breathing, despite everything. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlo's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlo, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! The nine hells! Open the gates! Damnable roach! Provoke the blade! And suffer its sting. What's inside? What should I do? Have to keep going. I am fury. I am death. No time to waste.
for a cull. And this will do nicely. Sickle and sword, strike them down. <laughs> what do I have to lose? Open up. Need to act fast. On I go. to strike. On the move. Let's turn someone inside out. Don't linger.
That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! We lost him back at the ruins. Old place is crawling with gobbos. He trusted you. Nobody forced him to go with us. He insisted. And when things got tough, he couldn't keep up. Simple as that. My God, you're a coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. Really I'm more worried about this parasite than a few goblins. Time we need, need a healer. To leave. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Ah, I forgot, you're a blow-in. A few days hence, this grove will be completely concealed by thorny vines. None will be able to enter, or leave. A drastic measure. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need.
Sylvanas, guide your path. Strangers over us? Not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No? If we left, we could at least make a run for it. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Mm -hmm. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. of a concealed entrance. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Not sure why you're poking your nose in our business, though. Okay, that's funny. You're funny. Because of that, I'll give you a ten count to leave. Seems Mole was as good as her word. She's reported that you've been threatening children.
I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. I'm in no position to turn down help. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. I just, just froze while the wall tore his head clean off. <sighs> Never again. You're right. I, I need to clear my head. And step parry, step, step, swing. Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue, but I'll keep at it. Thank you. eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? another gift. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. You can keep your innards. Oh, you're not going to eviscerate him. I was hoping for a show. Call your blood. I'll indulge you soon enough.
You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You, move! Canon would hate me for this, but he's not here. They took him from me. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. I'm gonna buy the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. <laughs> Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Goddess. We're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute bless one of our own. Priestess Gut. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty Booyog. I'm not saying we should trust a goblin, but she sounds very useful. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Please leave us be. This isn't a good time. It's fine, Memnos. Having fun with your new goblin friend. Bet you aren't. I've had some time to think since we last talked. Can't say I'm enjoying it much.
thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Toro. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Don't make me urgent, boy. Too late! If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. take the blame for leading the goblins here and losing track of the bloody druid Alson he's a leader around these parts or was we've got a contract to track down some relic and he wanted in on the job eyes lit up when he heard about it didn't work out though goblins got him when we were turning tail he's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city?
I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. It's settled, Dannis. You, me, and the Elf Song Tavern first thing when we arrive. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint. For your finder's fee. This place seems remarkably tense for a sacred grove. Perhaps we shouldn't linger. But let's at least see if there's a healer to be found, first of all. gonna ask you one more time boy hand over my locket I don't have your ugly locket I never seen it before hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head Threatening me. You don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He. Oh, the hell's with this. These little devils get away with everything because of godly bastards like you. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. <laughs> We've known enough grief this ten day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. Isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you. Oh! There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Take a sup of that, and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear, you're still as peaky looking. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Something doesn't add up about this one. Don't tell her anything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? No, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother.
Take care now, sweetie. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close.
of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Ah, you. Thank you. You stopped us from making a bad situation much worse. Well met. Though I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business here, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This latest attack will only strengthen their resolve. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her. For more time to prepare, if nothing else. We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, more of my people will die. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, <clears throat> they'll find it. myself they make good bait drawing attention away from us judicious advice how puzzling Aradin's back with his tail between his legs I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Yeah, when he ran off with the druid that saved our heights the first time. Without Halsin, this grove's not so friendly, I'll tell you that. you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but... She kept gasping. Clawing at the arrow.
have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone... poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Now take my regards back to that pouting Irenese and leave me alone. You peer through the telescope. You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey, hunting. The telescope points to the left. The telescope points straight ahead. The telescope points to the right. The telescope points straight ahead. Move along.
daughter go right now she's a thief hell spawn and you will wait for Korga's judgment now get back oh let me through Ragrashev or I'll rip your damn throat out <gasps> something the matter You not get eaten by a bear. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Breaking into druid chambers to steal a secret relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back! No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins were of rare, jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth-weaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, 
a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Pardon me, I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be, I'll be the first to write about it. The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Nettie in her room, through the carved door, deeper in the grove. But if Master Halsin does not return, Korga will give the order, and my voice will not matter. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Sin is gone. I am first druid now. 
I will take control and prove my authority. Thank you, Korga. Master Holsen would- Halsen isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the righteous resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. I've never learned to converse with your kind. Yeah. Yes, I'm... Is someone... singing? 